So few left. But we still got to look at a little more Psycho. Psycho Red on today's Shoki Power Rangers review. I don't know why I say it that way, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so here we go. <laughs> so a while back, a little bit after I got Psycho Blue, I did find Psycho Red on the shelf at Walgreens. So, guys, make sure you're checking those. So they do have this whole three in the wave. So they got red, blue, and uh, Dino Thunder white. And they've just left Dino Thunder yellow to cling on till the end. And apparently, uh, Psycho Black is coming out near the very, very end of everything. So uh, you've got the newer Power Rangers packaging, which I love how they changed that for the final quote-unquote two waves that they put out. You've got the Plastic Prison. You can see Psycho any color right there they just they, they made one thing here except for the fact that it changed the bottom where's the psycho red ranger power rangers in space bandai age four plus hey i'm right in the middle of that legacy collection nothing come to the back great articulation super detail blah 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 and all the things so basically just getting these because i can at this point so let's go ahead and open them up and uh, check them out and here we have Psycho Red out here, and basically it is actually one of the best painted figures that they've ever released, or at least most detailed. Now the blue was, you know, it was what it is, basically almost identical to this, but I think this one looks better, maybe it's just because it's red and I'm being biased. I don't know. Red, black, and white are my favorite colors, and throw in gold as an accent, and it's even better. Um... Mold-wise, it's absolutely identical to blue. There's no difference. There is so little difference, in fact, to the mold that people are buying these guys, both red and blues, uh, in bulk, so to speak. I was buying multiples and then repainting them to get the others that we're not going to get because they've already said they will not give us yellow or pink. So people are buying them and just repainting the color parts. Uh, some people have gone so far as to make their own custom uh, Psycho Black, but apparently we are getting it, so minor waste of time but hey we don't even know to be totally honest but he looks good the red is actually done very nice super glossy red next to a semi-gloss black for the body all the uh, silver dots all over the place on the knuckles on the shoulders nothing on the butt except for the red stripes i like that you got a blue or red down here he just looks good and he's somewhat stable so far i mean this ankle is a bit loose the knee is a bit loose so i mean that's nothing new our articulation is identical to well virtually almost any power rangers figure that there is uh, i'm leaving blue over there on the shelf because he wants to fall over all the damn time uh, i'm sure this one will be no different in fact uh this morning i glued uh yellow yellow rangers uh ankles so that she would no longer fall over because she kept knocking out the gold. Now, he does come with his own weapon. Well, there we go. I'll knock him over just to show you how it's done. He does come with his own cool sword that looks um, weird, to say the least. Uh, I do hate the fact that they put no effort into some of these. Like, I'm pretty sure this looks a little bit different than this, or at least a little bit better. The axe that the blue came with actually was so much better. I feel like this whole blade should be silver, and like this wraparound bit should be silver on the handle. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I'm hoping he can hold it. And he can. Okay. It is bent from the uh, container, but, you know, what are you going to do? can't really avoid that, so to speak. But the Psycho Rangers were actually pretty cool, as I've covered before. They look awesome. It's a very interesting design, despite the fact that it looks kind of like a bat-themed tutu. Um, but I like it. And uh, you've seen the other Power Rangers, and frankly, I don't want to get any of them off the shelf. They're over there. But we'll compare him to Wally. Because Wally's handy. And... A Tony Stark. Because I happen to have one right here. Tony could be a <coughs> Psycho Ranger. He's about the right size. But yeah, this is actually going to be a very, very quick uh, review because, well, there's nothing else going on. We've looked at the articulation before. We've looked at the ranger that looks identical to this before. So it's just kind of, hey, we've got another Psycho Ranger. And I will try to finish out the line. I'm probably going to have to get a custom 
uh, pink and or yellow. Funny thing is, yellow is actually more of a metallic goldish color, and pink is actually also very metallic. So it's really interesting uh, that you don't really get any custom weapons, although there's guys out there making them on Shapeways and stuff so that we can actually have our own final set of Psycho Rangers. Uh, it, just leave it to Bandai to at the very end, finally decide to not make any female rangers because nobody buys them. That's the truth. That's not me being sexist. Nobody buys the female rangers unless you're a real collector and completionist. The average people are generally just buying the guys. It's just the truth of it. There are still yellow... There's still an original yellow ranger on the shelf at one of my Walgreens. Like, it's been put back out, but... It's still there with the regular original Dino Megazord Build-A-Figure part. And it's still there. It's been there for several months, at least since I've been going there, that they've got it on the shelf. So it's a sad truth that they are just not selling. So they just finally said, screw it, we're not going to put out the Psycho Girls. The only ones that people probably would buy. <laughs> uh, just Bandai. Uh, I'm so glad they're giving up the giving up the license, and I'm really, truly hoping for greatness from Hasbro, because we know Hasbro can do good stuff. But guys, that's going to be it for this review. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this Ranger, if you like this review. And I'm going to make him a fencer, so he's like, yeah. Actually, that's, that's pretty good right there. I really wish they had expressive hands. That's like the, one of the downfalls of the Power Rangers line is lack of expressive hands. But anyways, uh, like, subscribe, uh, Patreon t-shirts all the things you should buy shoki shirt because the red red psycho ranger would totally buy psycho shirt shoki shirt i can't talk <laughs> but i'll catch you guys on the next review and remember as always may the power protect you